Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, me to Ian Chan about Shazam, Fury of the Gods in theaters March 17th. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. I mean, it's coming out next week. It's crazy. I mean, it's interesting because I feel like we're going back a little bit with this question because, you know, it's crazy. Like, it's coming out on Mm -hmm. the 17th, but you filmed this and wrapped, like, quite a bit ago, right? If you think about it. (laughs) Um, What is kind of going through your mind when it's, like, official? Like, there's going to be a second Shazam movie. Eugene and the family are back. Like, what is that like for you specifically? I mean, it's crazy because you know after the after the first movie, we, we received such such good feedback, and people really wanted to see the the sequel of Shazam. So honestly, I was just I felt really prepared. I was like, let's do this because it's it, it's great to be able to bring the Shazam family back to the screen. It is really exciting, and everyone's excited to see it. And you know, a lot of amazing things happen at the end of Shazam that kind of makes you kind of think because you know the family. Um, There's a lot of kind of things up in the air and everyone's kind of like excited for the journey and you really are a unit with everything, with Billy and everything, which is awesome. Um, Now it's two movies where you played um, one character, you played Eugene. And I really find that interesting because you look at, you know, a TV show, you're used to it a little bit because it's six seasons of playing Evan on Fresh Off the Boat. But now what can you say is your favorite thing about this character, Eugene, after playing him for two movies, Ian? I think um, my favorite part of Eugene is probably his his love for like video games and and like technology because one thing about it it's just like it's just like a regular thing to be into video games like I'm into video games a ton of my friends are into video games and um, for him to have this love for it and also bring that into his his sort of fighting style um, as a superhero it's kind of like he's living his biggest dream to be able to you know have powers and use that for the good. Yeah, absolutely. That sequence at the end where they actually do have powers and they transform in the episode, uh, the first uh, movie is pretty crazy. And I feel like Eugene is super pumped about everything. <laughs> yeah, it, the moment where that he realizes that he has like electric hands and he can zap things. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 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 really really awesome. And you know. I had a lot of fun with the first Shazam movie. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Fear of the Gods. I feel like these are movies that are just genre-bending movies and the fact that I don't think you can pinpoint one genre about them. Yes, there's a superhero geek culture, comic book culture component. It's there. That's kind of the roots of everything. But it's funny. It's got action. There's drama. It's got some heart. It's suspenseful there's so many like elements after working on two movies do you have an element that you like the most out of all of them or is it a combination of a, a lot of them yeah well obviously shazam is a superhero movie you know, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's got that like action non-stop action you know the the, the type of drama and the the storyline you're expecting from a, a superhero movie but m- my absolute favorite um genre that the shazam movies really capture is is like the aspect of like family and also just like um, putting all these elements together to create a really enjoyable viewing experience because it's like I can relate to that. I can see how much this family has chemistry with each other. And that is what makes the Shazamly special. Shazamly. Is that what you guys refer to each other on on set as well? Yeah, I think I think that like first started um, <laughs> when we were filming the, the first movie and uh, Zach or either Grace were like the Shazamly. That's exactly what it's going to be. And it's perfect. It, that, that's like Shazam family. It's perfect. Family. March 17th, a new Shazam movie's March coming out. It's 17th. crazy, right? Next week. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's a whole event, right? Like leading up to it. There's press, there's premieres, that there's a lot. It like, it's now, it's going to officially like hate you that it's coming up because there's so much leading up to it. Right. Mm-hmm. Which, Absolutely. <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Um, it's interesting. You mentioned your favorite thing is like the family dynamic and everything. Um, as an actor, as a storyteller, you obviously are used to that because you were on, you know, six seasons of Fresh Off the Boat on ABC, which was the family, right? And everything. So that was good. I'm curious when you worked on that show with such amazing actors and storytellers. 
and you know, it was a big part of your life as a storyteller you did for six seasons. I'm sure there was like many learning experiences as, as an actor oh, and storyteller sure. on that. Are there ones that kind of come to mind on the top of your head that were really big? I mean, you're there every day. It's like school of acting pretty much, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So first of all, working with like Randall and Constance, like there's, there's such amazing actors. Um, and they, they really obviously taught me a lot about, you know, how I saw them acting and, you know, how they incorporated like improv and, and how they really developed their characters. Mm -hmm. Um, and also with Hudson and Forrest, they were my, uh, brothers on the TV show mm -hmm. and they were also my brothers on set, you know, yeah. uh, we really created that, that bond with each other. And, um, hopefully I'm going to be seeing them later this week, actually. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you keep in touch and everything as much as you can. You all have different schedules too. That's what yeah. I think people don't realize too, right? It's like, you like you conclude a show and everyone has different schedules. Like you'd love to stay in touch, but like it's but like it's good that you're keeping in touch with them as much as you can, right? Yeah, that's that's true. And also it's just like um like as a child actor, I, I started working on Fresh on the Boat when I was like eight. Yeah. And I think um I really learned like how to balance like all the things that I had to do because I was still in school. I I still I, I still go to public school to this day. Like mm -hmm. Um, I filmed Shazam too when I was in public school um, and sh the first Shazam as well. And it's, um, it, it's really taught me like how to balance um, my life, especially if I, especially in prioritizing both um, acting and on also my academics and everything yeah. else. I, it's funny because very quickly about fresh off the boat. I mean, you know, takes place in the nineties. My favorite show of all time is Seinfeld. So when there was like the Halloween Seinfeld oh, yeah. kind of fresh yeah. off the boat moments. Yeah. Now I remember there was one episode where you were like, um, Randall was dressed up as Jerry Seinfeld, the puffy shirt. You were just like the table, but did you or not? I'm, tr I'm trying to think like, was it, didn't you dress up? Did someone dressed up as George? Didn't they? At one point uh, it was like, wait, I think was that me? I think, I think it was I, you. It was like George is getting upset me. now. No, I, think... I remember. I remember they they had to put the bulb cap yeah, on me. Yeah, I think that was yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, we really did a lot of amazing Fresh of the Boat Halloween episodes. Um, yeah. You know, we we did uh, the Hannibal Lecter one where where I was I was strapped up in a in a straight jacket. Oh yeah. In, the X Files. Remember the X Files? Yes, yeah, X Files one as well. But um, with the straight jacket, like. I was actually tied up in a straitjacket. So if I if ever I need to use the restroom, and I did remember I had to use the restroom like multiple times that night because I drank a lot of water or something. And it was just like, untie this strap, untie this strap, go to the restroom and tie it all back together. It's interesting because the 90s, like I just loved, like I, I'm, I was born in the 90s. So like just mm -hmm. kind of seeing like, yeah, like Eddie's kind of journey and all the music and everything, and like like the the sneakers. It was like oh, it just like it, it hit home, like it really did. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, getting back to Shazam, there's got to be. I mean, you could talk about Fear of the Gods because it's more it's 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 current. It's fun. I think people forget sometimes that like what you probably wrapped the first Shazam what like four years ago or even more than that. Like oh yeah, yeah uh, know, it's so <laughs> like it's so long ago. Like I think 2018. <laughs> We filmed Shazam like five years well, ago. Well, I saw the first one in 2019. I saw the first one yeah. like before the pandemic. I remember yeah. that. Like I went oh, well, definitely before the pandemic. Yeah, I went to go see the first one. It was like one of the last like crops of movies in the summer that I went to go see in 2019. So I went, I remember that. But yeah, but like for the Fury of the Gods, like any cool, funny on set moments or stories on top of your head you could share that were really cool. Or funny, or there are a lot of night shoots because I feel like the night shoots is when everyone gets all giggly and <laughs> everything kind of happens. All the night shoots. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely the night shoots in the first movie. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, you know what? Okay, so oh, okay, just watching like all the um all the special effects, like because there are, there are a ton of them in the new in the new Shazam: Fear of the Gods, and just um, okay. Let me think. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 I can't even imagine what like the stories about the VFX because yeah, you have to like, pretend like there's, there's monsters just, everywhere and there's not right, like there's, yeah. there's just so much like um like that, that that I can think about. Um I think I think honestly uh one of the best parts was filming with um wait how much am I allowed to like share? Uh out after or yeah, I think well this this would be out probably the day of the movie. So okay. if it's just in I'll case, just, if I'll, I'll just yeah. listen to it. I'll just listen to it. 
okay there's just really uh some really special like special effects and monsters and yeah. like having to be able to imagine that um but also you know having like the 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 the, the tennis ball being like thrown to you and you have to <laughs> pump, like, a gigantic monster or something and that 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 really like so many like like interesting like reactions come out of that and just and just being able to see like you know people jumping away from a tennis ball like that's that that that's really funny. it's pretty funny because because you also know even from working on the first one that like it's yeah. gonna like it's and sometimes maybe you don't even know like you go in you get the script sometimes you don't get the scripts you go you do your thing and there's like all these tennis balls being thrown you're like something's happening right yeah. and then you have to wait to see what it actually is you know what I mean oh, exactly <laughs> like it's like it's like sometimes we don't even know what this thing actually looks like we we just have to be scared of it it's like maybe they'll change it but i do remember this um this one time we were filming a scene and they they pulled out an ipad right and they pulled out this ipad they they scanned the scene and th and they were able to produce us an image of like what it's going to look like in the movie and um like that really helped us be able to like visualize uh the sort of scenario that we're in this the setting that we're in and that was also a really cool aspect of filming the show. Uh, that is just is amazing. Very quickly, rapid fire. I mean, Eugene's a big video game guy. Are you? Mm -hmm. Do you do? Do you, are you? Is he in China? Video game guy as well. Um, I don't have the time I, for video games. If I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, like I feel like I enjoy video games. I just don't have the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I used to. I used to play uh, a lot more video games than I do now. Yeah. I guess uh, you know with high school. Eugene would not approve uh, because Eugene just wants <laughs> to play them all the time. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I did play a lot of uh, CS:GO, Counter Strike. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, yeah. um, but now my go-to game is probably like Minecraft Bed Wars. My go-to game is Among Us. I still play Among Us. Among all the Us. Time. Oh, oh, I loved Among Us. Oh, oh my god! It was, I, you know what? It was. I didn't get tired of it. Like I was playing it throughout the whole oh, yeah. pandemic. I just like loved playing it and figuring out new things. And then like I would, then I would go on like YouTube and watch all the Among Us, the Among videos. Us, you know, with, <laughs> like Saikuno. Those, those are my absolute favorite. Yeah. Oh, so good. No, it's amazing. And Shazam: Fear of the Gods in theaters March seventeenth, as we said. You're reprising a role as Eugene, so it's really exciting. Ian, so much fun chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining me on Pop Turnitin, man. Seriously. Thank you so much, Pete. Um. Yeah, so March 17th, they're going to be able to see it. It's a whole event, and it's going to be big. And I think it's going to be bigger and better than the first. I mean, that is just from the trailers Absolutely. and everything. It's just everything got up, which is amazing. There is an Instagram account. You're, that's your name, right? It's just Ian Chen or like Ian Chen official that people can oh, kind of keep up with. The Ian Chen. The yeah, Ian the Chen. Ian it's Chen. there. Oh. And yeah, it's, 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 it's an Instagram account. So it's there. <laughs> <laughs> It, some, it is an Instagram account. Yep. Yeah. No, because some people don't post as much, but like yeah. you have an Instagram account. It's like it's a thing we do at the end of the uh, of the interview. We do like a plug and everything. Um, yep. And I'll, but I think the main plug is go see Shazam: Fear of the Gods, go right? Shazam. Go see Shazam this <laughs> this Friday. Absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turner. If you do dot com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Till next time, this is Ian Chen and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.